UFC 296 went down last night and there were some pretty spectacular fights. Maybe not through the main card, but early on, pretty darn good. But one of the fights that we were not expecting was in the crowd with Duplisi and Strickland. And I have three thoughts. Three thoughts on this. If you haven't already seen this footage, I'll throw some of it up. Number one, why is UFC putting two guys who are about one month away and probably have bad blood, why are you putting them even close to the same vicinity to one another? You have a whole stadium and you gotta put them within striking distance or at least talking distance of one another. That just seems ridiculous. It just seems, I'm not a big conspiracy theorist kind of person, but it almost seems like you want something to happen because you could have put them anywhere where they just will not even be able to talk to one another, maybe in passing, but when two guys can just turn around and start saying things to each other, you know something at some point is bound to happen. Especially, I don't know much about Duplisi, but especially with somebody like Strickland, you know he's not just gonna sit there quietly and not say anything. So a little bit of a promotional setup, perhaps. The next thing is why can't these guys just wait to get in the ring? or the cage in this case. Like what is so pressing in that moment? What could have they possibly said that's gonna egg you on that much? To be like, yeah, I gotta jump over some chairs and attack this guy when I'm a professional fighter and I'm representing this whole sport. And we have to still keep in mind that yes, there are so many UFC fans, but a lot of fighters have this negative stigma throughout the general population. It would be nice to eliminate that and in general go like, yeah, most fighters are really nice people. The person who's gonna run across the street to help you if you're getting robbed. When this is the type of news that comes out, even though it helps promotional stuff, it's not good for the general public to see because they go, oh yeah, that's what a fighter is like. And it's really not. And I do understand that Strickland is a little bit of a different fellow. Um, you know, he's an interesting dude and I'm not saying he's bad guy in any way. I'm just saying, when you hear him talk and the things he says, you just go, oh, okay, yeah, he's just a little different. But still, it would be nice for these champions, especially the champions, to go above and beyond, really restrain themselves from doing all the ridiculous stuff. If you want to get into the verbal stuff, which helps sell fights, it does. Um, you know, McGregor was great at it, that's fine. But when we start getting into things like throwing water bottles or getting in fights in the crowd, it's just not a good look promotionally for the whole sport, I think. The final thought I have is why are these high level fighters, people who can get in there and generally look very sharp, why do they always look so sloppy when they get angry and they end up fighting? You know, he comes across and he's ah, just doing weird stuff like that. And it doesn't even look super effective. Like Duplisi even said after, he's like, if that's what Strickland hits like, he's gonna be in for a long night or a very short night in January because it just does not look like a professional fighter when you see it in that moment. Look at guys, I was at one UFC event one only, I will probably not go back to another because I just, you know, I got some free tickets and I was there and I'm like, man, all the people in the crowd, the energy, the fighting, like there was fighting in the crowd and I'm so used to being backstage. So I don't see any of that. I have like, you know, the calm of the backstage, if you want to call it calm, you know, obviously there's lots of emotions back there, but overall much more calm than being in the crowd. And when you're down in that, VIP area, you would think these guys are gonna go above and beyond to really not let things happen, right? It's just the way it should be. The fights are in the cage, everybody else out there, act like gentlemen, behave properly, and represent your sport well. That's what I think. Those are my thoughts. Anyway, what fight's coming up? Am I super looking forward to in the UFC? Well, obviously Volkanovski's upcoming title defense at his correct weight class. I am super excited for that. I just saw this morning that Michael Page, who was a Bellator fighter, has moved over to the UFC and is fighting Kelvin Holland at UFC 299. I think that's gonna be a very exciting fight as well. Uh, Michael Page is so explosive. Um, he has that point fighting background, but he can hit hard and he's just so intriguing to watch. So I'm really excited for that. Let's call it there guys. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you back here soon for another video.